Hi. Welcome all of you to an ACLS scenario. By now you would have learned what is BLS. And what differentiates an ACLS from BLS is the use of drugs and equipments. And a good ACLS follows a very effective BLS. So now here we will try to replicate an ACLS, a single ACLS scenario where the rhythm is a PEA or an assistol. Over to Dr. Manna. Okay, sir. Please, you can start. So a 40 year old male patient was rolled into our ER in an unresponsive state. So with uh, my personal protective equipment, I, I approached the patient and I first I will check the central pulse. Okay. So central pulse is usually checked in the uh, carotid triangle lateral to the trachea for uh, 5 to 10 seconds simultaneously mm -hmm. assess for the breathing. Um, so it was found that the person, a patient no is pulse. not having no pulse and no respiration. So okay. I, will uh, I will assign my team. Okay. I, um, so I will uh, arrange one person for taking care of the compression. You can do it. Uh, you, you can take care of the chest compression. Uh, you can take care of the airway, uh, uh, giving uh, ambu. And uh, you can uh, connect the cardiac monitors and you can uh, put the IV access. And can you elaborate on the various steps? What What is an ideal CPR? So uh, ideal CPR uh, should be at least 5 cm depth. It, it should be given in the sternum uh, below the nipple and uh, you should give at a rate of 100 to 120 per minute okay. and uh, try to minimize the interruptions and depth should be at least 5 centimeters and uh, there should be adequate recoiling. Okay. And Moving and on to the airway. Uh, in the airway, uh, whoever is taking care of the airway, uh, give um, uh, ambu half the bag ambu after 30 compressions. So the, com uh, the after 30 compressions, you should give two uh, ambus. Okay, uh, and uh, you connect the cardiac monitors uh, yes. to the patient. And whenever we are assessing the rhythm, uh, everybody should clear so that we will get the correct rhythm. Okay. And uh, you take care of the uh, IV axis and uh, take an ABG also simultaneously. Okay. ABG in CPR ongoing. Okay. What are the causes of uh, cardiac arrest? How will you remember that? Uh, causes of cardiac arrest, uh, there are uh, 10 reversible causes for cardiac arrest. Uh, that is hypoxia, hypovolemia, hypothermia, acidosis, hypokalemia or hypo, uh, hyperkalemia. Then other uh, causes are um, toxins, uh, tension pneumothorax, cardiac tamponade, uh, pulmonary or cardiac thrombus. Okay. Now we have connected the monitor and the monitor is showing pulseless electrical activity. So Can you elaborate what is pulseless electrical activity? Pulseless electrical activity means in the cardiac monitor we will be seeing an organized rhythm but when we reassess the central pulse it will be absent. Sir. Okay. So uh, in such cases where we will be continuing with the CPR and we will be giving injection epinephrine 1 mg uh, IV push 1 is to 1000 dilution followed by a 10 ml NS flush and uh, we will be continuing with the uh, 30 is to 2 compression and uh, oxygen. Sir. Okay. Uh, so when are you going to repeat the next cycle? After um, uh, two minutes, after five cycles, we will be reassessing, reassessing the patient and we will be kind of, uh, uh, we will all clear, we will check the rhythm after the, uh, then we will check what is the rhythm and if the patient is still in asystole or in PEA, we will be uh, continuing the CPR and injection adrenaline will be given every three minutes or if at all the patient is going into a uh, pulseless v VT or a VF, then we will be thinking about the uh, difficulty. Okay. So whatever you have explained, let us enact it. Please go ahead. Okay. Okay, uh, so you start with the chest compression. One, two, three, four, five, you connect the uh, oxygen two, three, four, five, and the ambu. Connect the defib. You put the IV axis, take an ABG. Uh, is the cardiac monitor connected? We will assess the rhythm. Just clear, we will assess the rhythm. Assistole. Assistole. So you can continue the CPR. Uh, you can give the, uh, is the first dose of adrenaline loaded? You can arrange, uh, uh, load adrenaline and administer to the patient. Given a uh, 10 ml NS flush also. Uh, 
by that time we can arrange for a definitive airway sir okay. uh, then uh, we uh, we will look for the uh, reversible causes uh, if the abg is available we will look for any acidosis uh, uh, whether uh, sometimes the abg will be showing um, potassium values also we can look for hypokalemia or hyperkalemia Uh, and uh, during the CPR itself, if told there is a hypoxia, that can be uh, that will be corrected. So you told uh, used the word definitive airway. What is the definitive airway? Uh, definitive airway securing the uh, securing the airway with the um, ET tube, sir. Uh, oh. Endotracheal intubation should be done. And after the intubating the patient, uh, we will be uh, changing the rhythm. We will be giving oxygen every one in five to six seconds. We will be ambuing the patient. Okay. Just one key reminder is that don't rush in for the intubation, as you okay, know. Okay. Uh, in a cardiac arrest scenario, the most important thing is uninterrupted CPR. CPR. So, uh, go for an airway uh, intervention only if you feel that hypoxia is the primary cause of the arrest. Or else, okay. don't interrupt the CPR and try to get the rhythm back. Okay. 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 Once the rhythm is attained, you can go for an airway. Okay. Uh, so, uh, how long will you continue an effort to resuscitate the patient? Um, ideally, we should, uh, till we get an uh, organized rhythm with the central pulse, we should continue uh, our active resuscitation. Or? Or uh, if the uh, after 30 minutes even after minutes. active resuscitation, uh, the patient is not getting uh, attaining uh, uh, organized rhythm, we will stop resuscitation. Or if at all the team members are uh, tired. Okay. So by now, I, I believe all of you have got a rough idea about uh, the key components of a uh, successful ACLS. So one thing is uh, what she did correctly included identifying the rhythm, assigning roles remembering the causes uh, for a cardiac arrest scenario and giving high quality uninterrupted resuscitation efforts. Uh, we will limit the session to this, this specific scenario, but it doesn't end here. We have other shockable rhythms. We have uh, post resuscitation care and also something which she mentioned regarding the advanced airway. We will look into those sessions later. Thank you.